Front row MMA here at the King's Battleground with the King himself, Owen King. Owen, can, you, this is the third annual yeah. time you've done. Well, why did you get started working at the grassroots level? Well, I try to try, try and bring a bit more exposure to martial arts, whether it be point fighting, light contact, kickboxing, full contact, and obviously the MMA, which I'm starting to be heavily involved in. So I really enjoy it. And there isn't that much happening at grassroots level. And I know that a lot of the kickboxers are trying to make the transition. And what better way to do it at the same environment, the same tournaments, give them exposure, and then obviously next time they might want to try it. So it's all in the same place. So that's why. It's a, you know it, it's wonderful to see such a diverse group of people here. You've got kids, you've got women, you've got girls, you've got men, you've got teenagers. What do you think the appeal of the combat sports is? Um, I think it's a stay and age, isn't it? First of all, it was the Bruce Lee era, Jackie Chan era. But now it's just mainstreaming from the movies. All the action movies have some sort of martial arts in. It's good for fitness. And more people just want to get involved. Every town, every country, every village, whatever. Everyone knows someone who does martial arts. And it's just the, the, the big thing, isn't it, at the moment it's happening. So, yeah. Well, you, you were saying that one of the reasons that you've got all of the different styles here is that a lot of, a lot of fighters will look to try and move a little bit towards MMA. Do you think MMA... Is MMA ever going to replace the, the kickboxing or the boxing or the, 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 you know, the point sparring? Or... Are they the best starting points for an MMA career? I don't think MMA will ever replace it because MMA is very physical, it's very close contact. If you're not used to being in bodily contact with someone else, it's quite daunting. When I first started Jiu Jitsu or submission wrestling, someone said, Go in someone's guard. I'm like, Oh, I'm not going there. So it takes some getting used to. And also from kids, kids, they start stand up. Every combat situation starts standing. So kickboxing, any form of stand-up martial arts is a good base, but this fight starts standing, take it to the ground, so... Again, you've got to think, do you want your kids growing up to do MMA? Or do you want them to learn to defend themselves and learn discipline and respect? Yeah. So, I think it has its place, but I don't think it will ever replace it. Now, you do this every year. Is there any, any chance that you would look to do this more often, or is it just a matter of time? <laughs> it's a lot of stress putting an event together once a year, especially this sort of size. Um, a few people have asked me if I'm going to do a series or a couple of times a year. I will just see how it grows and again, I have my own life obviously away from this and it does take a lot of time, it's very time consuming, a lot of effort goes into it. I'll just see how it goes. Maybe I'll do another one next year, but then after that, if I get enough people involved, then it might become a two, twice annually thing. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. Well, having spoken to uh, some of the competitors, uh, parents and friends and families of the competitors, they're all really impressed by how professional this is run. You've got medics, you've got, you know, you've got people like Jimmy Wallhead and Andre Winter coming in to, to judge for the for the MMA bouts. You know, was that something that you was that something that you started right from the outset? You wanted the most professional sort of venue for these youngsters and, and amateurs to compete in. I feel that if, if I just do a normal bog standard tournament, then there's nothing that differentiates this from a tournament down the road. It has to be something different, something special, something that people want to be at, to meet personalities, to see the best competitors out there. If it's just a box standard, into club or whatever, people aren't going to come. So I had to do something different. So that's why. Oh, it's been a fantastic event. We've been here all day. It's been thoroughly enjoyable. Thank you very much for having us. Is there anybody you'd like to thank, anybody you'd like to shout out? Well, wow, there's so many people. Um, again, I always see interviews and I think, why didn't you mention this person? Why didn't you mention that person? There's just so many people, the people that came to help me set up. If I name names, I'm going to be here for ages. There's yeah. one looking at me now, Jake Shaw. He came early this morning from 7 o'clock. Chris Carruthers. Obviously, I'd like to thank Callan as well. Jimmy Wallhead, Andre Winner, Matt Hallam, them guys are coming down. Obviously, my brother, Peter Cope. There's so many people that came and helped me. Obviously, I've got the timekeepers, the medics. The judges, the referees, you all know who you are, and I know I can't mention everyone, but there's just so many people to thank for help pulling this thing together. So, oh, and thanks very much for having us here. It's been, a, it's been really eye-opening to see all of the different kind of, the point fighting, the kickboxing, the MMA together. Really good time. Thank you. I appreciate you coming down as well. So thank oh, you very time. much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.